Sincerely, Carl Amber. Mail successfully uncued. Okay, that's good. So, about nine hundred dollars in uh, cash. I mean, uh, well, I spend some at the shop, buy some mail. Oh, two territories. Oh, the next P. Bit sad. Um, do we buy the jazz music collection. Why not? Uh, cool. I think we bought it last time, but. Said it would arrive in a capsule, but I don't think it ever did. Alright, so what's the next step, Gorky? I'll contact Ella again. Okay, time to see if it worked. I'm calling her, Gorky. Please don't answer, Miss Ella. Uh, why do you say that? If she's not there, it means our mail changed the future and she's already been saved. Oh yeah, that's a very good point. We would be time-space heroes. I don't care about being heroes, I just care about her and the rest of her crew. Ella, are you there? I'm here, yes. What a surprise. At least I'm not crying anymore. I'm probably, probably too weak even for that. Please, tell me you have good news. I guess it didn't work. Uh, Carl? Carl, can you hear me? Or, I mean, it could mean they're, they're on their way and they're, they're about to arrive or something. Uh, I don't know. Yes? I... I'm so sorry, Ella. I thought I had found a way, but it didn't work. Oh. Okay. What? What didn't work? I alerted the people I work with. Asked them to rescue the Corona 130 years from our present. And I think they did, or will do it, but I realize now that it's not how time works. I understand, or at least I think I do. You're saying that you probably changed the future, but not your future. You're talking about parallel dimensions and all. Uh, yes. <laughs> I guess, yeah. That's a very good point. Uh, my impression is that they are not parallel, but concentric where each possibility expands into a new, larger dimension. Oh my god, this game has taken a turn. <laughs> god, very scientific, uh, very sci-fi. Hey, Gorky. Hey, Miss Ella. Not the time for scientific theories, Gorky. Yeah, I don't think so. I know. I believe I'm resorting to that because... because there's something wrong with me. I think I'm heartbroken. Oh, Gorky, you're such a cutie. And now I'm crying again. I'm, I'm so sorry I failed you, Ella. No, no, I mean, at least you rescued the Ella of some other dimension, right? It's just, I really wish I was her. Ella, don't worry, Carl, everything will be alright. Oh my god, that is such a fucking lie. Fuck. I guess I need some rest. Will you call me tomorrow, Carl? Uh, yes, I obviously will. Good. I love you, Dad. What? Good night. Good... Good night, Ella. Hey, I... My... Carl, are you alright? My, uh... My initial theory was that uh, this, was, this was all a dream. I still maintain that, to be honest. Uh, no, I'm not alright, Gorky. I haven't been alright in a very long time. Yes, I knew that. Good for you, Gorky. I wish I could cry. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So, Ella might be in the future. Might, she might not be. Uh, she might be in the parallel dimension. She might not be. She might be, what the fuck? Our daughter, she might as well not be. Well, you couldn't save this one either, could you? It's going to burrow into your heart, right where the other one was. Oh, fuck off, death. You and Lethe aren't helping. Your solution to everything is a locked wardrobe, while Lethe would just burn down the wardrobe and the house and probably the whole town. 
and you never bring coffee to our meetings. You're angry at me only because I got you, Sal. What? I'm not dead, am I? We're all dead, you idiot. Aren't we? What the fuck? What is this place? Who are you people? This is your house, Carl. It's a mess, but we all love you in here. If this was a house, there would be warm, welcoming coffee. But guess who forgot to bring it? Again. Warmth is only a metaphor for love, not the real thing. I love you, Carl. We all love you. This is so creepy. What the fuck? I even left my magazines and post-its for you, Carl. Leaving Rasputin the Great behind was an oversight, though. Rasputin the Great? My atomic power deep barrel vibrator? What the fuck? It's called Rasputin. Can, can we not trivialize the word burrow? I already used it in a serious metaphor and you ruin it now. Carl, what is this that you want? Oh, what is it? We all know that he wants. We know that he needs hope. It's not the same. I want to save. I want to wake up. I want to, I want to wake. I want to wake up seems like the... That's the right answer, because this is all a dream. <laughs> I want to wake up. You mean that as a, an escape from us, or as a way to face things the way they truly are? Uh, I want to see things truthfully. Then see me that... Asha? Oh, my sweet baby, I miss you so much every minute of every day. I miss you too, Dad, but you must see me. I see you every time I close my eyes. You must see all of it, Dad. Ella? You must see all of us. You must see the end. You must see yourself. You must accept it. Save yourself, Dad. Do it for us. We love you. Until the end of time and beyond. I... I just can't. What the fuck? My mind is blown. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? Oh, I mean, we kind of had an inkling Ella and Nesha was kind of the same person, but uh, is this real? Or is this just fantasy? <laughs> oh my god. From whom the beacon tolls. Dun 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 boom. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I, I just can't, uh, um, whoa, I'm really hungry. Why hasn't the food capsule arrived yet? Don't tell me the food is finished already, that shouldn't happen. The oven is broken and everything that didn't need cooking is gone. But the capsule is never late, why is it late? Uh, I'm afraid it might be our fault. Because of, oh the, yeah, the, we hidden our own uh, station here. The satellites. Yep, the capsule was tricked like Grey's warheads, and went to the wrong address. That's just great. The next one should arrive in a week. Are you sure there's nothing left? Nothing. Not even milk? Not even the milk? I know, you know I hate the milk. Oh, that one last. I bet that in a couple of days you'll love it. Artificial wisdom, one of your many qualities. Sarcasm alerts, maybe some milk will cure it. Let's remember to unmock the bento signal before next week. In four more days, it should be safe enough to do that. Okay. Carl? Want to chat with the lost girl? Uh, how are you feeling? I... I think I accepted what's coming. It's... it feels pretty weird. I feel tired, dizzy, but it also feels as... As if I'm accelerating towards light speed without even a boom chair. When you can see the end, you also see how fast it's coming, especially if it's not the one you wanted. Which it, it never is, I suppose. It's almost exhilarating. Uh... I guess... I can't really say I understand that, because I'm not going through the same. Does the rest of the crew know? No. It would only make them matter. I'm sure they've known for a long time while anyway. For a long while anyways, I was I was the only idiot holding on to some hope. I guess it's because I was the, on, the one carrying the heavier weight. 
and I really, really wanted some redemption. It's... it's all my fault, Carl. It was an accident. Yes, but not the type of accident you think. I destroyed the T Quantum Core. I lied to you, Carl. I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do. The original crew of the Corona is all dead. The people that remain, the ones outside my door that have gone mad. They're terrorists. And I'm one of them. What? Terrorists? How? Oh, she ain't like a, an activist? Is that why she destroyed the ship? Because it was part of the conglomerate, the, cor the corporation, the man itself, so to speak. Um, we obviously don't call ourselves that. We just wanted to fight Glowfield. Be free. But the crew of the Corona was civilian, not military. They were just workers like we used to be. And we killed them. What? The hell are you talking about? Please, Carl, listen to me. I need to give my full confession. I need you to know the truth. What happened then? You know Glowfield, right? Yeah, you told me it's what Great Law becomes. Yeah. Officially, Glowfield is a corporation that deals in leisure goods. They specialize in porn, fi, and orgasm fibers. Everybody likes a good cover, right? And that stuff is actually cool. Except here we're talking about a corporation that used to be a military, so they realized they would spend way less money if they owned the colonies producing the raw materials. And Lina is one of these those colonies, right? Yes, and where I was born and lived all my life. It's like a prison where you have some free time, but otherwise you better do what they say or you're fucked. A miner has no way to leave the colony. Only cargo and military ships come and go, and they won't hire you. So if you don't comply, they'll just take away your job and leave you to rot. So you were rebels? We were. We wanted to be. Obviously, as soon as we started fighting back, they called us terrorists. But we never touched civilians, until the corona. I guess now we really are terrorists. How did you board the corona? We built a small tunnel under the spaceport, hiding inside it for weeks as we did dig as we did the digging. Every 10 meters of progress, we would close the previous part of the tunnel behind us. It was a crazy and reckless plan, claustrophobic nightmare. We shouldn't have should have known that if it would drive some of us crazy. When we finally were inside the Corona and then it and then in space, and another week had passed, we tried to take control of the ship and all went to shit. Our plan was to capture the crew, pilot the Corona to an allied colony, then steal the cargo and let everybody go, Corona included. But you know how plans go sometimes. Some idiot, some idiot stops following them. Maybe because he was driven crazy digging that tunnel. Maybe just because he's a fucking asshole. And suddenly it's a bloodshed. We took some prisoners, but the captain and the rest of the crew locked themselves in the engine room, so we had to blow the door open. And guess who was the explosives expert? experts? What were wrong? Too many explosives? I was in a complete panic. I had never seen so much blood. That was not what I had enrolled for. Everybody was telling me to go fast because the captain could lock the engines any moment and screw us, so I made the mistake. I used too much Triton and it blew the engines, and the captain, and the crew that was inside, and the uh, uh, low, low wave communication beams. I almost blew up the whole ship. I, I killed so many people, Carl, and doomed the ones that remained. Uh... Yeah, exactly, uh, it's, uh... I'm gonna take the high road here and say I'm not the one uh, who can judge you for that. Besides, it seems pretty obvious to me she's already paying the price for it, so... I know I can never be forgiven. What I did is so big that all my regrets, all my mistakes are nothing but a hollow excuse. But it's also so big that somehow my mind can't conceive it. It's as if I'm constantly forgetting about it, as if it wasn't me. And then suddenly, unexpectedly, it comes back. I am a disgusting human being. Uh, these are these are the both the same options. They're a horrible thing or a horrible mistake. 
Uh, horrible mistake. Yeah, that's a horrible mistake. But whatever happens, I care for you, Hella. I care for you so much. Oh, come on. This is really not the best moment to be a father figure. I think it is. I want to be. I, I never met my father. I don't even know who he was. Mom always told conflicting stories about him. I thought I didn't need one, but I'm so grateful you're here, Carl. Self-deprecating but compassionate, unforgiving but compassionate. Let's just be... Let's just be compassionate. No, I'm grateful. I don't know anything anymore, not for a very long time. But I know that I'm here for you unconditionally, Ella. Please, Carl, can you let me talk to with her too? Hey, here comes Gorky. Hey, cutie. I'm here for you unconditionally too, Miss Ella. There, I really wanted to say that. You're the cheesiest AI I ever met, Gorky. I thank you, both of you. Maybe you should play a song now, Carl. Isn't that what they do in V movies when something tragic and heartfelt happens? Uh, we're not in the V movie. But wouldn't you want to be? Yeah, if only for the happy ending. Yeah. Wait, you can play songs? Yeah, there's a small MIDI, uh, MIDI keyboard that activates the beacon. I would really, really love to hear a song. It's been such a long time. I... Maybe I don't deserve it, but please, Carl? Pretty please? Please, his dads? Alright, okay, okay, let's try this. Can you hear the notes? Hmm, I don't. Oh, okay, just a second. Uh, what do we have to do? Get the keyboard out? What about now? Still nothing. The microphone, Carl. Yes, right, I know one moment. Oh, do we have to connect the keyboard to the microphone, or... Uh, is there a speaker somewhere here? Wait, where's my uh, card? I need a book. Uh, is there a microphone pocket? What do you mean the microphone? Do I just put the microphone close to it? Hear anything? Yes, that sounds fine. Okay, cool. Okay then, here goes nothing. Don't judge me. I would never. I might even try to sing a little. Let's see how, it, how the song goes. Wait, just... Oh, okay. Well, I did strike quite a few false notes, but it was very nice. I'm sorry I didn't sing for you guys and girls, but uh, I don't think you wanted to hear that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it was very touching. Yes, touching. And the, the lyrics of the song was a bit dark, man. Uh, all you need is, all you want to see is the ends, and sometimes all you have is the ends. 
something like that. Bit dark, bit on the dark side, but. Gorky, you want to jam with us? Oh yes, Gorky sings, but I have to warn you that the drivers for my singing module are not installed. Just do what you can. Let's try the coder. Uh, shredding solo. What? What's that? What is that thing on the radar? I'm not sure, but it's coming straight at us. What's happening, Carl? Seems like one of Grey's warheads found us. But how? I mocked the bento signal on the satellites. Maybe it has some kind of AI, and when it enters close range, it's adapted to another signal? Oh, uh, what do we do now? Can't you turn off everything, so whatever the signal the warhead is following will be cut off? We can't, we have some direct control, but it's, the, its whole purpose is to restore the systems of or operativity, not to turn them off. Let me check the manual, maybe I can think of something. Yes, and cut me off now, just in case it's following the radio waves. But then come back to me, you come back to me as soon as this is over. We will, just wait for us. We can do it, Misella. Now be quick, Carl, it's coming pretty fast. Uh, what do I do? What the fuck? Just let's cut off the... Uh, the radio there. Not sure, turn it off. Okay, can't turn it off. Uh, what do we do, Gorky? How can we turn off the source signal? Try checking the manual, okay. Uh, checking the manual. Source signal. The energy subsystem? Is that what you're talk talking to me about? Yeah, I think it is. Unless, what the hell is this? Oh, it seems I can tweak the working voltages of the energy accumulators. I don't like where this is going. So I can overload the accumulators one by one until the signal until the signal the warhead is following is cut off. No, no, no. You must think of something else, Carl. You could damage the whole electrical system this way. The overload protection system should just cut the accumulators off. Nothing will be damaged. It's that should that worries me. We can't risk it. We really, really can't. There's a fucking warhead coming at us, Perky. Cutting off the accumulators is the definition of acceptable risk. Okay, so we did the, this uh, N0, N, N3 board here. Let's connect that. Okay, and then uh, how do we... Uh, control selection, control 7, control 8, check 5. Voltage control. Control 7, check 5, control 8. Okay. Uh, radio isotope generator supplies power to five energy accumulators. These accumulators store and re regulate the power supply of the bento station. Okay. Each accumulator is identified by a code. By using control 7 and control 8, I can recreate the same identifier and select its accumulator. The binary identifier will appear on check 5, 1... Okay. Okay, I got you. Alright. Okay, all right, so let's see the first uh, The first accumulator is AA0011 So 0011 and then B, oops uh, B would be 1100, okay Okay, so that's the first one and we shut it down or increase it to max. What do we do? We just shut it off I, or we overload everything. I think we overload everything. One accumulator is off, but the warhead is still adding towards us. Okay, let's do 1001. Uh, one zero zero one. Oops. Okay. And then for B would be one one zero one. One one zero one. 
Okay, overload this as well. Still nothing. Okay, let's try the second one. That triple zero one for B is all triple uh, zero one. Okay. God damn it, nothing again. All right, fourth one. Zero one zero one. Okay, that's oh sorry zero one zero one and then for B is just the opposites. Okay, overloaded. Come on. All right, last one. Wait, what? Whoa, it worked. It missed us. That was so close. I had never experienced what you you humans call thrill before. It was pretty awesome. Can we do it again? Maybe another time. How long do you think we should wait before I can call Ella back? Uh-oh. What the? Did the rocket hit us? How? It's not that. The bento isn't damaged. Then what was that? Why are we shaking? Maybe the breeze or the plasma shockwave caused by the satellite's explosion. It's weird though. The satellite is far enough for... Wait, no. Another one! This is bad. Both Gray's warheads called our bluff. And this one must be following a different signal than the other one. One accumulator still on. I'm going to overload that. No, you can't turn off everything off, Carl. We will... You will cut me out for sure. Please, you're my best friend. Just give it some time. Maybe it will avoid us. Ah, this is about the ship. It's about survival. If I wait and the warhead doesn't change direction, then it will be too late to do anything else. I want to live, Gorky. You're... you're right. Do it. But Carl, remember me like I am now, as your friend. What does that even mean? Just do it! Do it now! Alright. Last one. All ones across the board for A. And then for B. Oops. There we go. Don't mess with me now, damn thing. What? The lever, the lever is slipping back to its original position. That's because you're always so rude with machines, Carl. You should be gentler. All right. Fuck, gentle, gentler, Carl. Just move it slowly. God damn. All right. Oh. Uh. All right. Oh no, there's a bunch of signals now. What the hell? This is absurd. How many goddamn warheads did she throw at us? At least for once, I did all I could. Ella, she won't even know. I should have told her everything about Esha. I shouldn't. Oh wow, <laughs> that's the end of it. We don't get to know what happens. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Oh no, wait. The station's coming back on, so we survived. Wait, wait, this is not the end. Ah, you goddamn game, you tricked me. What the hell just happened? How am I even alive? And how is the bento not torn to pieces? That doesn't... I'll try to understand it after I've called Ella, but before I can do that, I need to find a way to turn everything on again. Ah, uh, God. Uh, Gorky? It's probably not... Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, let me get the cards out here. I think I need to switch on everything here. We just need to find the purple key. I need to... yeah. Which was... somewhere... Uh... wait. Kitchen, bathroom, bedroom... Control panel, spacesuit room. Which one is... I'm looking for... Uh... R3, I think. Or S3 or something. Is it in the bedroom? 
Okay. I swear I looked for the key there the last time, but couldn't really find it. Um. No, there was one, one under the pillow. Mark another day here. Oh, I think we missed one. Uh, anywho. Wait, where were they? There was one in the bathroom. Energy. Oh no, these are the energy lines, not where necessarily the keys are at. Uh, each switch is configured using a key on their energy box. Yeah, but where are those keys? Are you seriously? I forgot to turn on the control panel power line switches. EQC2. The main circuit breaker tripped because the control panel has no power. Yeah, because we, we need to give it power though. Um, where? I'm just missing one last key, goddammit. Um, oh man, I think this is going to take me a while to find this key with only a flashlight, like, what the fuck? Taking all the fuses. Is it inside the fridge? Somewhere? Not behind here. This is where I got one of the keys previously. Now in the bedroom. In the aquarium here somewhere? Uh... Okay, I, I don't know. Um, what I'm gonna do is take a, a quick break right here. I'm gonna find the key on my uh, off time, and then uh, when I find it, I'll make sure to record it and show you guys where it's at. Because I don't want to waste a lot of time here waiting or uh, just looking everywhere. Oh, maybe. <laughs> As soon as I said it, just found the key. Alright, never mind that. Uh, let's plug that in. And I'm gonna take a quick break anyways, and when we'll come back, we'll continue on with Still There. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys and girls, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.